What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about the 2020 iMac, what specs that I bought as a video editor slash content creator. So I recently purchased the new 2020 iMac and in some cases it's actually better than the old iMac Pro. There's tons of videos out there on the internet that show you the specs and show you benchmark tests and performance tests so this video is not going to get into that but I'm going to explain why I purchased this one with the specs that I did what to upgrade. I'm going to show you how to upgrade the RAM in it. Um, I purchased some RAM but I haven't upgraded it yet and also I don't think anybody ever needs to see any more people unboxing another iMac in their life but there's one thing that I always enjoy and I, I think is the most satisfying part of every unboxing and I save that for you guys. Thanks for checking out another video. My name is Anthony and I make videos that I hope will teach and inspire you to make better videos. If that's something that you're into, consider subscribing to this channel and hit that bell so that you're notified every time I upload. If you get anything out of this video, make sure to hit that like button and share this video to somebody who you think might get something out of it as well. If you've watched anything about the 2020 iMac, you know that the RAM is one of the big topics that keeps popping up. Should I upgrade the RAM from Apple? And my answer is a simple no. You should not. You should buy your RAM elsewhere. Just get the minimum amount of RAM that you can. If you can get it without any RAM, I would do that, but I think the minimum you can get is eight gigabytes of RAM from Apple. That's what I got, and I'm gonna be showing you how to change that out, what RAM you should get. I've linked the RAM that I bought in the description below, and let's jump into it. So first thing I wanna do is fire it up and show you the specs that I bought for this iMac. That a good thumbnail? I'm not. I moved this table and lost my reflector, so let's kill some shadows. And you can see up here, I've got the 3.8 gigahertz, eight core Intel Core i7. And I chose the i7 because I saw some other YouTube videos where they ran benchmark tests and the i9 actually performed worse in most cases than the i7. And I think it has to do something with the cooling system in the 2020 IMAX, the cooling system isn't quite up to par to compensate for the heat that the i9 draws and the i7 seems to work better in those instances because the i7 doesn't get as hot, it doesn't have to, you know, throttle down as much and so you get better performance with the i7 than the i9 in most cases. I tend to work a lot rather than in short bursts, so for me the i7 is where it's at. I got 8 gigs of RAM because, like I said earlier, I'm going to upgrade that RAM in just a few minutes. Instead, I took the money that I was going to put towards the memory uh, and put it towards the graphics card. So I upgraded to the AMD Radeon Pro 5700 XT 16 gig. And it's kind of crazy to think that I actually have more graphics memory than I do actual memory in the computer right now, which is, I mean, that's just a little bit crazy. So those are the specs that I went with. And for me, I thought that those were really good specs for video editing. I'm gonna be doing a lot of Premiere Pro, a lot of After Effects, a lot of Photoshop, a lot of Lightroom. Having great graphics for me is a priority. If that's not something that you need, maybe you can get the eight gigabyte cards that they offer as well. There's nothing wrong with those cards. I just thought that I get the 16 gigabyte cards. If you're using Adobe Creative Cloud 2020, then you can switch over to use the graphics card and it makes this upgrade totally worth it. So now let's jump into how to change out the RAM because I bought some, I bought this RAM. These are 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. It's very important that you get the right memory for these things. I'll link these specific ones to this video in the description below. Let's put these in. So the first thing you wanna do super important is to shut down the computer. Once it's shut down, we'll unplug it. 
Then the hatch for the ram is on the back, so we'll just turn it around here. Okay, so the hatch is right here on the back, and I've just got a little screwdriver because there's a little button right above where you insert the power cord. So I'm gonna press that button with this screwdriver. And that hatch should open right up. There's these two knobs right here. Let me see if I can show you a little bit closer. There's these two knobs right here and right here that you're just gonna kinda press over to the side to unlock it, to unlock it. And that falls right down. And then you should just be able to pull these out. There's one. Instead of guessing where I need to put it when I come back in, I'm gonna just go ahead and put this 32 gig stick, the new one, in that slot. There it is, once it's clicked in, it's in there. Um, you can test it by kind of pulling it just to make sure it's in there good. I'm gonna take this one out. All right, that one didn't quite click in, but I did feel it go in there. I just don't think it made the click noise. So I'm gonna give it a little pull. All right, looks like it's in. Looking good so far. Let's see, go back up to the Apple about this Mac. Boom. Everything is there, all the stuff is there. 64 gigabytes of 2667 megahertz DDR4. We're looking good. And that's it guys. Look, if you wanna see benchmark tests and all that kind of stuff, I'll link a video that I watched right here. Max Tech did a great job of explaining the difference between um, the upgrades for uh, RAM, the upgrades in the graphics card, the upgrade in the CPU, and all of that stuff. He did a great job in that video, so just go watch his on that. Um, you don't need to see me do another benchmark test when there's so many great ones out there. That's it. I'm going to take this footage and edit it here. I might talk about how I did that in another video, but I haven't even played with this yet. I literally just put the RAM in. So look, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And that's it for me. We'll see you guys in the next one.